Hi everyone, Katie Robert for the British Columbia Football Conference. I'm joined today with Julie, by Julian Whitting, starting quarterback of the Valley Huskers. Hey Julian. Um, so you played your past two seasons with the Manitoba Bisons, and prior to that, played for the Winnipeg Rifles of the PFC. Um, I'm looking back at the Bisons roster. Um, you played with some BC, uh, BCFC alumni, Kyle Patchell, Theo Dizar, uh, Jamel Lyles, to name a few. Um, did you talk to any of them about their experience with BCFC? And if so, did that sway you in your decision to move out west at all? Or was it strictly recruiting? Yeah, I spoke to all those guys about their experience in the BCFC. And, uh, you know, they all had positive things to say about it. Uh, the biggest selling point for me was there's 10 games instead of seven. Like in the Prairies, they only play seven games for a regular season. So that's the biggest thing that sold me on the fact. And those guys kind of swayed me into coming out here for sure. Okay. Um, so why Chilliwack then? What made you decide to go with the Huskers? Uh, well, I, I talked to Bob Reese. He's, uh, he's been a big part of my past with Recruit Ready in Winnipeg. And he's been with the Bisons in the past. So, yeah, I have a good relationship with him. And... Uh, you know, I just want to play for Bob. Okay, cool. So, um, obviously, he's been with the Valley Huskers for about two years now. You're in a bit of a rebuilding phase. Um, what, uh, looking at their 0-10 record the past couple of years, safe to assume your assumption isn't a Cullen Cup championship this year. Am I correct? Uh, honestly, I think we're all here to win, to be honest. Like, it's been such a long time since this program's won games. Like, like this team we have this year doesn't look like anything like the Huskers did last year. So I think we're going to surprise some teams this year for sure. Yeah, I've heard the recruiting's been night and day and that no, oh, yeah. we see some good competition yeah. this year. Yeah. Um, so 22 years old, last year of junior eligibility, technically a rookie with the Huskers, but um, obviously you've got that university and PFC experience under your belt. Uh, how important is a leadership role for you this this year. Leadership, leadership is definitely the most important thing for me right now. With me being 22 and the quarterback, I was named captain yesterday. All eyes are on me to lead this team and this offense. So, uh, you know, I'm trying my best to keep tempo up in practice, trying to trying to keep everyone motivated to make plays in practice. Hopefully, we can translate that on the field as well. So, you know. So, um, you know, one thing about BCFC that is you kind of hear a lot um, with smaller cities, especially a city like Chilliwack. Um, the teams are a little bit more of a tight-knit family atmosphere. Have you noticed a big difference between the Huskers and the Rifles in that sense? Yeah, I have. I think, I think the difference is Chilliwack's kind of a smaller, smaller city than Winnipeg. So you kind of see teammates outside of practice like a lot more in, uh, in BC. In Winnipeg, everyone's kind of just at practice every day, and you're like, okay, you know, have a good night or whatever. And in yeah. Chilliwack, you kind of see your teammates every day as well. So I think that builds team atmosphere better. Yeah, totally, completely. Um, so, is this your first time out in BC, or have you been in the area? Before? Uh, I've been in BC a couple of times with the Bisons and with my family, so I kind of knew what to expect coming out here. It's a lot different than uh, Manitoba, but uh, yeah, I've been here a few times, and uh, you know, I didn't know anything about Chilliwack before I got here, but it's it's growing on me. I like it. It's a nice little town, and I'm enjoying my time here. So, yeah. good. Missing home at all? How are your parents handling the move? Uh, they miss me. I miss them, but uh, you know it's only for four months, so I'll be back there. I'll be back there soon enough. Fair enough. So uh, six three two ten, I believe. Uh, pretty big guy for a junior football quarterback. Yeah. Are you a physical player? Are you more of a pocket passer? What's what's your style of play? Well, I'll be physical if I need to be physical on third and short, you know, like I'm going to get all the yards I can. But other than that, I know my O-line is going to keep me upright in the pocket. So, you know, generally I'm a pocket passer. I, I can also run if I have to, but, you know, I like to stay in the pocket. Yeah, running backs for that. So let's say your O-line does break down. Who's your go-to receiver that you know you're throwing that ball to? They're catching it. I want to Remy. Remy's our, uh, he's our H-back. He's kind of like, He's a tough runner. He's like a running back style. I'm throwing him the ball every time outside of okay. the pocket. Okay, cool. So uh, looking into this weekend, obviously you've got the VI Raiders coming up at home. Uh, yeah. You have no game film. What do you know about them? What are you kind of expecting? How are you preparing 
Well, they got the same coaches as last year, so I'd expect their schemes to be similar on film as they were last year. Uh, from my standpoint, I think they're going to have a big defensive line. So they're going to be trying to get after me, but, uh, you know, regardless of what they do, we're going to play our own game and uh, just manage what we can manage. Okay, cool. Um, so back to you on a more personal level, I understand you studied or are studying business at U of M. Yeah. Uh, what's what's your plan after football when you hang up the jersey for the last time? Yeah, I've been I've been studying business since 2014 at uh, at U of M. Uh, so basically, my goal is after this season to go back to to school. You know, to a U sports program. Hopefully, I'll play football there and finish my business degree. Oh, perfect. Well, my last question was, are you planning on staying involved in football and coaching or anything? So I guess that answers that. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm going to try to play two more years in uh, the university level, and then after that, hopefully, I can do some coaching. I enjoy QB coaching and helping kids out with like, with, with throwing and stuff like that. So, so kind of start with the young kids and yeah, just kind of work my way up, you know. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, thanks so much for taking the time to chat with me. Good luck this weekend. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And uh, look forward to seeing you play. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Thanks.